buried gold at the California Crossing. Shortly before the Civil War, many prospectors returned to their homes from the California gold fields carrying fortunes in gold nuggets and dust. A popular route many used was through Texas and where it crossed the Trinity River near Dallas, one group of miners buried a sizable fortune in gold which has never been found. Prospectors choosing to travel by way of Dallas, Texas, crossed the Trinity River at a spot called California Crossing, so named because many of the gold seekers used it on their way to and from the gold fields. In the 1850s, Dallas and neighboring Fort Worth were sparsely settled, and tribes from the plains still frequented the area. During the late 1850s, a party of successful prospectors were returning to their eastern homes by way of the California crossing. While camped there, they were attacked by Indians. Realizing they were hopelessly outnumbered, the prospectors hastily buried their gold. There are two versions as how it was buried. One says there were gold-filled buckets buried. The other claims it was put into bags and then buried. When their gold was hidden, the prospectors luckily managed to escape. They did not return immediately for their gold, but instead went on to their homes. At home they found Civil War fires beginning to burn, and the men went their separate ways. Some joined the Confederate Army while others fought for the Union. This was true of many prospectors of the West, and it was not unusual for them to leave the gold fields to return home and fight on the side they believed in. These particular prospectors believed their gold was so well hidden that it would be safe whenever they returned for it. One of them did return after the war, but was unable to find the gold. All of the others died in the war. California Crossing today is not hard to find. It is listed on most Dallas maps, although strangely most Dallas residents have never heard of it. The crossing is on the Elm Fork of the Trinity River and marks the Dallas city limits. On the west side, just off California Crossing Road, a marker identifies the old crossing. There is a small city park bearing the crossing's name on the east side. The treasure area is on the west side and is not in the city limits. It was customary for eastbound travelers to camp on the river's west side while those headed west camped on the east side. Once a crossing was made, travelers did not make camp but proceeded on their way. The west side of the crossing is mostly overgrown today, making any sort of systematic combing of the area next to impossible. There is little doubt the treasure still exists. If it is found, it will be found by a treasure hunter with a metal detector. Good luck out there. The end.